shop game here. Coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com. Off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. And today, I'm going to talk about the seven things women don't want you to know. And, you know, a, a lot of guys are in denial about a lot of things that women do and a lot of the manipulation and tactics that they use around men. And this is just across the board. I don't care what nationality, race, or where you live at. What I'm about to tell you, there's a good chance it's, it's going to be associated with your girlfriend, your wife, your sister, your mother. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So the first thing that women don't want you to know is this. Most women act different around all men. For example, now, I've, I've met guys in the past, and we knew some of the same women, and I used to overhear them say, Hey, she did this with me, or she did that with me. And I was saying to myself, damn, she never done that with me. Damn, I guess I wasn't good enough. And this is when I was in my 20s. I used to hear guys, I used to overhear guys talk like this. I, of course, I never said anything to them about it. And I never even told them that, Something went down between us. But of course they knew that I knew her, but that to what capacity or I mean, they didn't know that. Because you know what they say a, a gentleman never kisses and tells. So that's my philosophy. But a lot of women have different relationships with men. I mean, some, it just depends on, it's all about, actually, I always say, it, it's all about the relationship you have with the woman, how she sees you, how she perceives you, how y'all meant, where y'all meant. I used to assume that, that she treats me better than the other guys or vice versa but I don't but I come to terms with this after about well, what 15 20 years and women have different relationships with guys it just is what it is and the second thing is they use guys for different things So, for example, especially today, oh shit, women today got a Rolodex. They got a guy for to fix the car. They got a guy to pay the rent. They got a guy to pay the utilities. They got a guy to to meet people or make connections or a guy that they can make deals. The guy that introduces them to opportunities. They got a guy for them if they need a job. I mean, they got a guy for sex. They got women got guys for all kinds of shit these days. I mean, anything you can imagine, they probably have a guy for it. And there's always 
I guess there's a price tag involved, you know. And you know, mo what's that's the difference between women and guys. Most guys, they don't really have, they don't really operate like that. There's some that do, but most guys don't. Most guys, they just want to have fun. No strings attached. And they keep it moving. But most women, they're not like that. They have an agenda. Usually a hidden agenda behind most of the guys that they associate with. And the next thing that women don't want you to know about is women love sex. Yes. I know it's hard for you or maybe some other guys to imagine. But women love sex. Not only do women love sex, they most women love sex more than guys and they like to have it all the time. When I say all the time, as much as they can especially if it's good sex and they think about it all the time as well but the reason why they can't tell guys about how much they think about sex and how much they like sex they women they kind of oppress women are kind of being oppressed sexually in this country Reason why they can't tell guys how they feel about sex and how much they like it is because they don't want to be judged. They don't like being judged. They don't want a guy to, and they know guys don't like it because because if if the guy if, if a woman's with a guy, she understands that men see women in their own little way. They see them in there. It's kind of a in an innocent little way. You know, uh, I, I, because this has a lot to do with Christianity and religion, because growing up, we've been conditioned to believe that women supposed to be a certain type of way, act a certain type of way, look a certain type of way. Women not supposed to be get nasty sexually as a matter of fact I, I i remember growing up when oral sex was nasty oral sex wasn't cool i still remember that shit i remember this was in the 90s 80s and 90s oral sex was not something popular that was perceived as something that's that's nasty. That's something that you shouldn't do to a guy. Or that's something that you shouldn't do to a woman. I still remember that shit. I mean, it wasn't being talked about in the in the mainstream media or written about in books. I remember that shit well like it was yesterday. So women they love sex. They think about it all the time. They want it all the time, especially if it's good sex. Which brings me to my next point. Women date and have sex with multiple guys if they don't have a boyfriend. Well, no, I'll take that back too. Sometimes it doesn't matter if they have a boyfriend or a husband. But the average woman, let's take the average woman that's single that don't have a boyfriend. Nine times out of 10, she's juggling dicks. She's having sex with multiple guys. Now this is not the, the 70s and the 80s. This is not the old days where if the woman is, is single and not dating anybody, she'll stay home and wait for that, that right guy that perfect guy to show up and take her on a date 
and they'll go out on a couple dates and after a couple months she'll get married he'll well, well after a couple months he'll he'll ask her for her hand in marriage and uh he'll talk to the dad without her knowing he'll talk to the dad in advance without her knowing anything about it then he'll ask the daughter for her hand in marriage and then probably the next six months after that after the engagement then they, they will probably be married this is not the old days anymore that that shit it happens but not like it used to because a lot of the young people today they don't really know they don't really a lot of them don't know about it and a lot of them just want to do their own thing but a lot of women if you're not fucking somebody else is nine times out of ten and you have to be okay with that it, you have to be okay with that you know it's it's cool in the game it's not wrong with having sex now here's my philosophy behind having sex I do it like this now maybe you can take on this philosophy as well if your your dick count can't be above your age that's my philosophy for example if you're 35 years old your dick count shouldn't be over 35 dicks you know what I mean that that's my philosophy now but I know it's gonna be a lot of women over that number but most women if you ask them how many guys they've been with they're gonna lie anyway but if you stay around her long enough and once you get up in get up in the sack with her you're gonna find nine times out of ten you're if you've been a, if you've been around a lot of women and if you have a lot of experience nine times out of ten you're gonna know if she's been around or not you're gonna know how much miles she got on her you're gonna know if she's worth keeping around for a couple more rounds if you know what I'm saying because if if you if you go up in her and you fall in that motherfucker <laughs> you probably you you she probably been around a little bit too much if you know what I mean if you get my drift <laughs> you know I mean she ain't she ain't supposed to be but so loose but if she 30 years of age 35 or in the 20s and you fall in that motherfucker you'd be like oh shit if you can't feel if you ain't getting no sensation that's probably you probably need to move on <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> you know so hey it is what it is you know and 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 the next thing is the reason why most women flake when most women flake on you or they say or they call you at the last minute and they say hey you know something came up blah 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 most of the time they be lying I gave you an example if you had some let's say if somebody uh, if you call a woman today and you plan something for tomorrow and maybe y'all going to I don't know the comedy zone or the basketball game or y'all going to y'all just supposed to meet up at a bar and grill or something like that and 
two to three hours before it's time for y'all to meet up, you just follow up with her, say, hey, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking forward to seeing you later. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. And probably an hour later, an hour or two before y'all supposed to meet up, she, she texts you and call you and say, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it. I don't feel good or or uh, something happened with my, my son or whatever excuse she gives. If she doesn't try to reschedule, she's probably lying. She probably, more, more than likely, it's another guy that called her up at the last minute. Maybe he was in town or maybe she haven't, maybe she was, she been trying to get with the guy for a long time, but he ain't really interested in her like that. And he called her up every blue moon and say, Hey, let's, let's hang out. So she's just into him more than she's into you. That's all it is. Or maybe she might not be into you at all. It just depends. Or maybe you're not priority. You you might not be higher high on her list. You might not be in the top five. You might or or probably in the top within the top five of her list of guys, you might be number three or number four or five. But the guy that called her, he might be one or two on the list. I mean, this is what it is. It happens. It happens all the time. But if you've been, if you get to know a if you get to know the woman long enough, you'll be able to tell if she's into you or not. Because if you, especially if you, if you're an out-of-towner, especially, just like, for example, if I go to Charlotte, if I tell everybody, hey, I'm in town for, the, for a couple days, I said, hey, let's get up. The majority of the women will make time to see me. Even if they have to stay up after a long day or night night's work, they'll make time. Because, see, I, I, I learned a long time ago, people do things that they care about the most. So if someone says, if a woman says, hey, uh, she don't got time, that's bullshit. People do what they, people make time to do what they care about the most. So I don't buy that shit. So you shouldn't buy any of that shit either. When women say, oh, I can't make no time. You know, that's bullshit. So a lot of women that flake on you, or if they do, especially at the last minute, Nine times out of ten, it's a lie. So let's keep that in mind. And the next one is, most women are insecure. Yes, most women are insecure. And the most attractive women are the most insecure. Yeah, believe it or not. That's, that's pretty much been my experience. The most attractive women are usually the easiest to talk to, especially if they're by themselves. And they're usually the most insecure. They always, they don't look the way you think they, they don't feel about themselves the way you think. They don't look the way you think they look. They don't feel that way. You know, you might, you might see this woman and you might think, hey, she's a dime piece right but she doesn't really think that she doesn't feel that way now she might say yeah i think i'm attractive 
but she doesn't feel that way. And the reason why that is mostly is because she compares herself to other people, other women mainly. And a lot, a lot of women are very competitive. And that's a mistake because everyone's unique in their own little way. But they, their women are competitive like that. And a lot of them, it just depends on how they were raised and who they're hanging around. That has a lot to do with it too as well. How they were raised and who they're hanging around. And what type of lifestyle they live and where they live. They live in the city, they live in the suburbs, they live in the country, they live in the boondocks. That has a lot to do with it as well. And how's their their life going? Are they happy with their life? Are they pushing and grunting or whichever case but they want to hide their insecurities they hide they try to hide their insecurities but if you stay around them long enough they'll start doing stupid shit sometimes they'll like kind of self-sabotage relationships they'll just start doing stupid shit start Acting jealous when there's there's no need or or just doing stuff that you probably won't even understand sometimes. But you know, that's that's women. You know, they do a lot of shit that just don't make no damn sense. A lot of times, but you have to be okay with that. You have to be able to maneuver around a lot of that and you can't get caught off guard because a lot of guys get caught off guard. So those are just some of the things that a lot of women don't want you to know. So let's recap. Number one is women act different with all men. They have different relationships. <clears throat> Number two, they use guys for different things. Number three, women love sex. Number four, they date or have sex with multiple guys. Number five, when women flake on you, it's mostly a lie. Number six, women are insecure. And I'm gonna give you a bonus. And one last thing. If your woman doesn't wanna have sex with you, doesn't want to get dirty with you. There's a good chance that it's your fault. Assuming that y'all have a good relationship, whether your girlfriend, your wife, whatever the case is, it's your own damn fault. Because I always say that you have to give women a reason why she should want to be with you. And at the end of the day, women do the choosing. That's why women are so competitive amongst each other. Because they know that there's other women trying, more than likely trying to get at you. So she's trying to be the, the MVP. You dig? So if you like what you heard, 
Check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationships.com, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, Sharp Game is out. Peace.